Make what the so fuck good. is this? <laughs> <laughs> fucking seeing this oh, right you're so now. Wholesome type. If you've ever seen Asa Akira, then you definitely would know. Who that. is Asa Akira? Type? When I was in college, I would to get over my fear of approaching women, I would just write notes and I would say, Hey, I think you're really cute. I'd really like to take you out on a date. That's Here's my cute. phone number if you want to give me like if you want to text me. You're swiping left in real life. Oh, I'm getting swiped left on, yeah. Be <laughs> <laughs> yeah. on the side of the bowl. It doesn't keep it splash quiet. either. It doesn't? Yeah, because it's oh, PP think... right into the water. It splashes out. Oh. Yeah. But I <laughs> but they so bad. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Blowski. Welcome back to another episode of Blow and Tell. And today we have Ty and a new co-host, Dakota. What's up, Dakota? What's up? Thanks for having me. <laughs> How are you doing today? What's doing up? pretty good. You excited to be on this podcast today? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you know, we got a lot of really juicy things to talk about, so I'm excited to be here. Yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do, buddy. <laughs> I, I texted them, and I was like, Ty, can you, like, Ty, Dakota, can you guys do, like, mm -hmm. um, answer oh, these yes. topics? Ty over here didn't do his homework, <laughs> trying yeah. to steal from Dakota. Per Jeez. usual, really. I'm not, I'm not trying to do homework. <laughs> well, you know, I'm an overachiever, so what can I say? Yeah. Okay. I'm just a I'm cheater. <laughs> All right. Well, there is a couple questions. So um, Dakota is one of our longtime friends, and so okay. I wanted to bring him on just so you know we got some diversity now. Diversity, diversity. diversity. token Not white guy. Let's go. <laughs> all right. There is there is a couple <laughs> things that I do want to ask you since you know, for us Asians, we just want to know like why is it that you guys walk around the house? With shoes on. That's wild to me. I <laughs> honestly, like, it never really crossed my mind. Like, when I was a kid, you would just come into the house, and uh -huh. especially if you didn't have carpeted floors, it didn't really mean anything. Mm. You would just kind of walk around in the hardwood or walk around in the tile, and it meant nothing. For whatever reason, your parents didn't really care about it. It was just easier because if you especially had to just go in, grab something, get out, you never took your mm -hmm. shoes off mm -hmm. and had to spend the time to put them back on. But didn't you ever hear of this? The I think it was the statistic or the data that like 80% of the bottom of your shoe is fecal matter? No. You never heard about that? <laughs> no. Now you know. That wasn't something that was talked now about you know. in white households when I was growing so up. So every time you're stepping on your carpet, you're just know you're so leaving 80% fecal matter literally every literally step. Literally stepping in shit everywhere Will I go. Will you step on your bed with like shoes on too? Why would I step on my bed with oh, shoes on? I've no, seen it. No, I mean, you take your shoes off before I've you go seen upstairs. It. Of course, if it's I've like, if it. you were like leaving the house or like you're mm -hmm. getting ready to go, you would... And you like put your shoes on like you went downstairs and you put your shoes on and then you're like, oh, crap, like I have to grab something. You just run back up the stairs. Mm. But it wasn't like you were like jumping in your bed. Like, is that something? That but have you have shoot? you not seen that amongst like your other friends? Maybe that white people with shoes on in bed. Yeah. I mean, if they're like laying in bed, maybe I've definitely seen people who like they would get home from work mm -hmm. and then they would just like immediately go and like lay in their bed and like they would keep their shoes on. And I, I always questioned that cause I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Mm. Like your shoes are I dirty. I know some bro. people are also really shoes are uh, specific about wearing their clothes, even in bed, like their outside clothes. Oh yeah. Where it's like you change your clothes before yeah, you go before, to sleep. Because are you like that? No. Are you? I mean, of course. Like, you are? I'm not going to go my bed with outside. So that's, that's too much work That's another thing. So that's another thing that I've learned from like having Asian friends is that like they change their clothes before frequently. Before going on bed. Before going, yeah, before going outside, before going in mm. bed. Sometimes like you won't wear the same like sweatshirt that even that you wore. Yeah. If you even went outside with it, even if you didn't touch anything, yeah, yeah. like you went to the grocery store, but you're wearing a sweatshirt yeah. and then you yeah. come back home and you change out of it to yeah. change into your like your bedtime clothes. Yeah. If I wear clothes outside, usually I'll throw it in the hamper. And then any clothes that I'm wearing inside, though, I could wear it for a couple of days. Me too. Probably. Oh, yeah. I mean, right. that's normal. I wear, like, I rewear the same sweats. But like if we have like an outdoor patio or like outdoor furniture, I try not to wear those clothes that I wore on like my outdoor yes. patio mm -hmm. back inside and back in my bed because I'm like, oh, it's dirty. It's dusty. Mm -hmm. and, he also um, knows how to use chopsticks, too. Like he's pretty oh, I like can, I can crush it. You're going to get to see me use these well, chopsticks that's later. That's why I gave oh. you chopsticks. Yeah, I see, yeah, I see <laughs> that. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's We're going to see it right now. You yeah, want to do yeah, it right yeah. now? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, okay, so, so I, I gave Dakota natto and I wanted not him to try it. It's lots of fiber. I am not excited. Not oh. excited. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Open. Oh shit. So um, you don't oh. have to put the sauces. He doesn't. The sauce. Or you can or you can't. Is the sauce what makes it like the experience? It makes what it the so fuck good. is this? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? What is this? Look at that ASMR. That's for ripping. you. Do you guys need me to get it closer to the mic so we can just ASMR it? <laughs> oh, I 
<laughs> just try it that without just looks, the sauce. That just looks terrible. You just put it on my desk. It's totally fine. Oh my god! But look at uh, look at all that. Like I had to have him try like nacho strings, guys. Okay, dude. So he's got to eat all of it, right? Oh yeah, just god. shove the whole thing in your mouth. But you make you need to mix it. Makes it hard because it needs to get frothy. Uh, what? <laughs> what do you mean it needs to get froth? What the hell does that mean? You what do you know mean? what frothy means? I mean, yeah, yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. What they're they're like that. Like yeah, that. just like that. Dude, this is disgusting. What the fuck is this? Keep mixing it until you see a consistency that's very similar to what you see on your day to day life. Okay, I don't know what it is about <laughs> you and thinking that all men are doing is just whacking it off, but like, this is like, oh, you gotta God. be a little aggressive. Yeah, you gotta yeah, really get yeah, in there. Yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna make. Nice. <laughs> this is so funny. No, it's it's looking good. It's kind of yeah, reminds me of like yeah. the consistent. If you guys have seen like any of the Alien movies, oh yep, yeah, yeah this that's, what, that. that's what. That's oh, even like the goo. Dude, it's like why does it look like, like it, spider webs? If you actually like it, I would be impressed. Oh really? Yes. Okay, you're good. You can eat it now. Take it. <laughs> Looks like slime. Are you fucking seeing this oh, right so now? Oh, you're so wholesome, Ty. It looks like slime. It looks like slime. How is that, that's how not is what that. that not that's wholesome. not what that looks like. You know, what it looks I like have no that. idea. What I it would looks think like. if, so, if a guy it had this like shit slime. coming out of him that he's unhealthy is uh, okay. Oh, like, you're gonna be very healthy after that. After the whole thing you finish, uh, all God. of it. I have to eat all of it right now. Yeah, gotta poop. What poop do I feel today. like? I'm peer pressured. <laughs> yeah, you can push the mic a little bit away. What's my like? <laughs> Why does it smell like that? Why does it smell like that? It smells rotten. Is it's that supposed to smell like that? I guess so. No, it's, it's supposed to smell like that. Trust. <laughs> I don't trust anything. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Eat it! Eat it! It's for your digestion! <laughs> for it's good for you, Dakota! <laughs> My eyes are watering. <laughs> that tastes so bad. <coughs> why did you do this to him? Why, why do you it's eat good, this? It's good for you. You won't poop today? <laughs> how do you eat this? You got a little uh, little slime <laughs> coming from your chin oh. to the... Dude. <laughs> why the fuck does anyone eat this? What is this made out of? That is so gross. Probiotics, I believe. <laughs> What does that mean? What like what what do you mean by probiotics? Like lactose bacillus? Like Probably, yeah. I, well, there's that's like they put that in your cult and that doesn't taste feel, like it, shit. Does it make you feel better if I tell you what's in it? I don't know. I don't know if it should it's or silkworms. <laughs> it's silkworm? <laughs> no, no, no. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's it's a whole it's a bunch of whole soybeans oh, is that, wow. fur? that no. have been fermented Fermented, with bacillus yeah. subtilis Bacillus subtilis var. Var. I don't know yeah. what that is. I don't know what that is well, either. It's, a, it's part of bacillus the bacillus subtilis. family. But bacillus. Lots of protein, you know? Oh, I love protein. Are we recording already? Yeah. Oh, we're back in we're back in business, baby. Cholesterol free, high in fiber, good source of por- protein, and low sodium. Oh great. Thirty four grams of protein? And it tastes like shit. Yo, hundred and thirty four percent of your daily Yo, recommended. Yeah, but I bet it's cheaper than uh what, my, my goodles? Then oh, your like goodles. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Look at that. This is like, dude. That helps your poop. All right, did you mix? You got the food? You look at your fingers? I have to get it off somehow. That's <laughs> coming from your mouth to your fingers. Nobody gave me a napkin. <laughs> yeah. well, why did you give this is a hostile work environment. <laughs> why did you give him a napkin, bro? She's actively trying to make my life miserable right I'm now. not. Okay, let me get you a freaking napkin. Oh, man. Why does it look, why does it look worse? <laughs> yeah, with the sauce in it, it looks worse. It looks like I wish we could worse. get a close-up on how terrible this looks. It looks so bad. This literally smells so bad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I'm literally I'm gonna eat it because I don't fucking care. Mom didn't raise no bitch. Um, but this I'm gonna be honest. This looks terrible for all for everyone viewing at home. This is this is the most disgusting thing I've ever had to do in my life. Next to eating balut, which um, oh balut's good. No, it's no, it's, it's not. It's so good. No, it's not. It tastes like it's it tastes so like blood good. and iron and no, no, and no. dead animal. I think I think they didn't cook it right for you. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't cook it at all. <laughs> Oh, it was us cooking. Yeah, you? they didn't cook it at all. They just gave it to Yo, me, it and I was like, like <laughs> "So you fucked was, them over?" It was, it was so, cold. It was cold. I'm recognizing no, a pattern. Wrong. I, I'm wrong. recognizing a pattern. They just give me shitty food. No, you expect ate it, me to eat it. They're it like, wrong. "Let's let's give the white guy the <laughs> shitty food, and let's see how he reacts. I want to see him suffer." Eat, eat, eat. 
God. I'm Time not... to eat. Mm. Okay. It's better. Oh, don't hide in front of the uh, camera look, look. now. Show the, show the audience. It actually eating. does. Okay. So when you mix the sauce in, it's actually not that bad. It's got like mustard and soy sauce or some shit. I don't oh. even know. There we go. All right, there See? you go. But, oh, wait. <laughs> it's hitting. <laughs> when it's it gets hitting. to the back of your throat, dude, that's just. <laughs> Yep, oh, yep. and then you take a deep breath, and it's like, oh my god! <laughs> you get a second taste. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, it's so bad. This is the best part of the podcast, guys. Yeah, watching me suffer. It's a it's a mukbang. Brought to you <laughs> by Flow and Tell. Thai snakes. I'm just kidding. Oh my god! <laughs> what is is Thai gonna get to eat a disgusting white food? Oh <laughs> uh, what? There what, is what? none. Yeah, what would be a disgusting white food? Would I don't you know. say just anything without seasoning? I guess. Oh yeah, well, I love that would be torture. <laughs> <laughs> Flo's whiter than I am. She doesn't even know how to use chopsticks. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, she just. I, I don't even own a rice cooker. <gasps> what do you mean? Yes, you do. You <laughs> have a soji ruchi. <laughs> yeah, she didn't own a rice cooker before. I think that's hilarious. The last two households I've lived in have had zoji rushis, which are the Ferraris of rice cookers. The best. Yes. Yeah. They, yes. I, I've gotten the the highest of VIP experiences living with Asian the roommates. fluffiest rice. The fluffiest of rice. <laughs> okay, I want to see on. if Dakota disgusting. can. Um, yeah. Get, guess which language this is. Oh, and Ty, Ty, you might be able to guess Jesus. too because you probably wouldn't know. Okay. Guess okay. which language. Okay. All right. Okay, first one's easy. All right. No math. Vietnamese. Yeah, okay, obviously. second one is. Korean. No, Chinese. Chinese. Bro. Chinese. <laughs> Chinese. Sorry, I got excited. Chinese. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. How about. That's that's Korean. That's Korean. Mm -hmm. What about Arigato gozaimasu? Oh, Japanese. <laughs> Get out of no, here. He knows Japanese. Okay, what about Sawadika? <gasps> That's also Japanese. No. No. Say it again. Sawadika. That's Thai, right? Is that Thai? Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't that's know. That's Thai, yep. That's Thai. No, that's Thai. And then <laughs> what about this? Salangmat. Oh, uh, 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 fuck. I don't know. <laughs> you know? Yes. Guess. What's that? Guess another. <laughs> Guess another. I can't remember any like other, <laughs> other Asian nationalities. There's um, Cambodian. Is that Filipino. Cambodian? That's not. No, that's Do Filipino. You know that? Yeah, that's Filipino. Yeah, it's, it's actually Tagalog, but you can't Tagalog. say Filipino. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yikes! I'm just kidding. Shit! Don't okay. cut that out. <laughs> they'll not, they'll cut not, that I'm out. Not they're not. That they're out. not going to cut that out. <laughs> Wow. All right, what well, you... canceled before I even had a chance to try. Let's do... Um, okay, so white males and Asian females are the most common interracial couples. Really? Yes. When you think of what type of... Wait, sorry. Um, That's wild. Yeah. Being colonized. Yeah. So why do you think... Get out of here with that <laughs> nonsense. Being colonized. Why do you think that like most of the times um, white guys go for Asians? Why do uh, that's a really good question? Not to put you on the spot though. Yeah, why do I think on. white guys I mean, go for into, Asians? You're, are you into yeah. Asians? Yeah, absolutely. And why is that? I don't know. I think they're just they're really pretty. They're very elegant. I uh, I usually know that they're probably going to be, you know. <laughs> what, what is this? A mean? good What's that? a What's good that? partner. A good, you know. Okay. <laughs> this this sex is probably gonna be awesome. I don't know. That's wow. probably okay, what have you heard about the Asians and like? Well, it's only stereotypes. Um, but I think we all grew up watching Asa Akira. Um, whether or not we want to admit it. Who's that? Yeah. See, Ty never wants to. Wait, admit Ty, are you it. joking? You Who's know who Asa Because I don't know who it is either. You don't is know who Asa anime? Akira? No, Asa Akira. You don't know about her? <laughs> no. She's a porn star. Oh, okay. She's an Asian porn star. And she Interesting. Used to, Interesting. She used to do all sorts of crazy shit. Yeah. We we didn't grow up watching that. No, it's only no. only white guys. Well, only white like, guys apparently. Apparently, no, apparently. Yeah, well, like you know, I can't speak shit. for all of them, <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I think that was one. But I I don't think that that was. It's not not from like an objective objectification kind of standpoint. Like I I also just recognize that like they generally are, you know, a little bit more caring. Caring, okay. you know, and they're they're usually a little bit more wholesome in, in some degrees. Wholesome, huh? Yeah, they like to they like to make sure the house is clean. <laughs> you know, taking your shoes off, not tracking shit inside. <laughs> I think that's important. Okay, so like I didn't family agree. oriented most of the time. Tell me if you agree with this. They most of the times men would say the white guys they'd be like, I always thought they like 
they want a girl who's small, quiet, obedient. And basically That's submissive by day, kind of. yep. submissive by day, aggressive by night. <laughs> I mean, I who wouldn't want someone who's submissive by day, but aggressive by night? Ty? <laughs> Wait, what? I don't think, okay, I don't think like... I like strong women. I like women yeah. with strong personalities. And yeah. Asian girls women, aren't really like submissive. They, oh, actually. well, it depends. It depends. No, because I, th- I feel like in a sexual situation, like, yeah. From for many of the the Asian women that I've I've been with in that kind of intimate okay. sort of standpoint, so you, you don't want like dommy mommies. Not necessarily. Well, I mean, it depends. I guess if, there are Asian dommy mommies. There oh, are, oh, there yeah. are definitely there, there are, are definitely yeah. Asian dommy. If you've ever seen Asa Akira, then you definitely would know. Who that. is Asa Akira? <laughs> Ty, Who you really is that? Ty, you really don't know. Who Bro. is you look that? Like you fucking know. Who hashtag. Is hashtag. That? Is she like old days? Awesome. Not Akira. old days. I mean, like early two thousands. I would say probably. So I mean, she's probably older now for sure. But oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Very okay. interesting. Oh wait, do you know who like Tila Tequila is? Oh yeah, I know Tila okay. Tequila. Isn't I remember she her whole, right remember now? her yeah. her whole scandal. Well, she's always been wilding, bro. Yeah, but there was, wasn't there a show now. about Tila Tequila where it was literally like looking for love? Was it looking Something for love? For the, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. there was looking for love, but then there was like there was another one where it was like it was just her being fucking nuts the whole time. Yeah, I think she's like hella crazy now, like into Scientology or something. I don't know, but well, I mean, she's just yeah. doing some crazy stuff. Yeah, because de- being Last into Scientology definitely makes you hella crazy. For crazy, sure. bro. Oh, oh yeah. you, you don't like Scientology? Albert Hoover or whatever his name is. You don't like Scientology? I mean, Wait, what's like Scientology? I don't what's dislike Scientology. <laughs> I certainly don't want to say I don't, I don't like Scientology and have those uh, yeah, motherfuckers yeah, start coming yeah. after me. They'll audit your ass. Wait, what's okay. Scientology? Mission Impossible, your ass. Yeah, they'll Mission Impossible, my ass. They'll send Tom Cruise <laughs> yeah, after me. Like John Travolta will end up at my door and start punching me in the just, throat. Is it just another religion that's Saturday wild. Night Fever, my ass. It's religion? Yeah, Scientology. Well, it's like a, it's like a, like a made up religion. It's a, yeah. it's based off of a comic. It's based off of a a science fiction writer mm-hmm. made Scientology, and he created it based off of like this very elaborate story Wait, about yeah. like what was it called, like fluons or something Is like Scientology that. Scientology, like, the one with tachyons. You're like full of like this weird energy, and there's like alien. Like there were like aliens from an ancient civilization that came to Earth, and then they died, and then their souls manifested into like human beings or some shit. Never like, heard of that. There's some really, yeah, it's really freaking. It's a whole thing, and then they're very cultish with the way that they Super like cultish. manage manage their people who join the science, like Church of Scientology. How, I, how and, like, was like the first time I've heard of this? I don't know. Maybe you're just like. Under a rock. Yeah. <laughs> I've never Wait, Scientology, you're way too sheltered. Flo. Scientology is the one outside. with the flying spaghetti monster. No. No, dude, that's the Church what of the, the Flying fuck? Spaghetti oh, Monster. That's the Church bro. of the Flying. Another <laughs> so random what? religion. What in the world? I guess it's like yeah. Leave it to the white guy to know about the most obscure mm-hmm. religions. Yeah. yeah. Because you follow them. <laughs> all of them. All yeah. No, I mean I'm. You know, I, I like to think like I'm. I'm like, I like to think I'm more spiritual than anything. Uh, you know? okay, Don't okay. gaslight me in the middle of the podcast, Shadai. Jeez. I would never. They invite me on here. They force the feed me freaking the worst thing I've ever hey, eaten in my life. And, and now he's gaslighting me. <laughs> Does this feel like discrimination? It. Anybody? Gang Does anybody else feel discriminated it. upon? <laughs> okay, all right. What, tell me what the best ethnicity to date. The best ethnicity to date? Yeah. I asked this to Ty. Uh, pff, wow, that's such a toss up. I mean, I feel at the end of the day, I'm, I'm tiptoeing on very sensitive territory here being a white guy, you know? <laughs> But um, I guess just to to feed feed the machine of the conversation we were having, like Asians are probably a really great ethnicity to date. Although I've only dated a couple in in my life, but I I think it's like it's like a toss up between like Asian Asian women and like Latina women. Oh mm. really? Because you got you got like yeah with Latinas, like, they're also very family oriented. They're also very fiery. Mm. You know, oh, you like aggress- Vietnamese girls then? I probably would. Yeah, yeah. They're very similar to yeah. Latinas. Uh, I think yeah, so. Yeah, in a lot of ways. Yes. Yeah. You know what is it? Uh, fiery in the streets, but submissive in the sheets, kind of deal. You know what I mean? I've never heard that before. Just I've heard the sh- opposite. Yeah. With with Vietnamese women, submissive in the streets. Some but of them. Aggressive them. in oh, the sheets. Oh, Vietnamese women. They're just like they're they're aggressive any time they're of just day. aggressive all the really? time doing your nails they're aggressive that's true i think most vietnamese <laughs> girls i've dated weren't aggressive. they're always asking really? questions about yeah. your life but then they're not actually interested in the answer you know and then they're scraping the fuck out of the bottom of your foot it's the best yeah no most of the vietnamese girls like because obviously i'm like half fiat but i'm like most of the time so i grew up in like a vietnamese culture and they're pretty fiery they're feisty they're their food spicy loud. They're good in bed for mm-hmm. sure, but 
you know, I had a kind of a bad experience thinking about some Vietnamese people, though, but, you know, I don't really have a lot of Vietnamese girlfriends. Oh, maybe really? it's the crowd. Probably. Yeah, maybe it's just, yeah, it's just the people that you're, you know, choosing to hang around. You could probably find some nice, like, Vietnamese people. I, hope I would so. think. I, I would think hope so. so. I'm I'm think so. Sure I think so. I think that's in your future flow. I really do. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, it's fine. Any Asians are Asians. They're all, like, fine for me. I, I connect better <laughs> with a, any Asian. Like, I think it's just, like, culture-wise and stuff us. like that. Um, but that's yeah. the thing. I don't always connect with white guys. That's, I don't, I really? don't really, yeah. Cause some white guys are fucking, they suck. How so? They're just like wet blankets. They're uh. boring or they just like their personality <laughs> isn't anything, you know, like they don't have like any of those quirks or they're just like, they're, they're like up here, you know, they kind of got like a superiority complex and I don't really uh, like that. Shit. See, that's like, okay. I like, like people who are more down to earth. You know, I, I've heard willing that, to talk to you. like I've always wanted to date a white guy. Mm. Because I always heard that they're more calm than Asians. Like, they don't have a temper. I heard that they're more, like, romantic. Words of affirmation, physical touch is at the top. They do, like, flowers and all these crazy surprises. Yeah. And then um, and they're very good at, like, communication skills. Better at communication. Oh, yeah. I think it's a case-by-case case basis with a lot of white guys because, like, you can definitely find, like, the jock type of white guy who's just, like... Not about any of Like, that. you know, lights are on, but nobody's home. He's not even paying attention to what you're doing with with anything. Mm -hmm. He doesn't really care. He's just kind of like, yeah, like, fill in the blank, you know? Like, he just wants a girlfriend to have a girlfriend sort of thing. Oh. Whereas, like, if you do get a nice, gentle, sensitive little white guy, you know... They said they're boring, though. So you'll get that, but then they come with being boring. Uh, that's why I heard. Okay. So you got to yeah. find find a guy who can do both. So that's why I was like, okay, well, but <coughs> with find Asians. A, find a white guy who can do both. <coughs> <laughs> but with Asians, like, they're more, um, <laughs> like, I connect better with Asians just because we can talk about the same culture. They play video games. Yeah. Like, they like to stay home a lot. Like, so, introverted. Because I feel like some, like, I've heard, like, white guys were, like, very extroverted. So find a, so find a white guy who is experienced with Asian culture. Who isn't yeah. boring. But doesn't say like, yo, I know a lot about Asian culture. Panda Express is my favorite. No. <laughs> no. That's not Asian culture. That's like saying that Taco Bell is the best Mexican food. Like, right? That doesn't even... That's not real. Exactly. Okay. Um, let's go <laughs> into what are things guys do that girls don't know? Ty oh, I have. Go first. Ty, had, Ty had a really good one. Oh, yeah. Uh, not from personal experience, but I know oh, some never, guys never. that will... Before they meet a girl that they are interested in, they'll, you know, do some push-ups. Oh, yeah. To pump themselves up, you know? Um, from personal experience, <laughs> yes. <laughs> You've never experience. done that before, Ty? No. Really? Has Ty, do you no. do push-ups? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, that's that's fine. You know, different strokes, different folks, I suppose. But yes, absolutely. Most definitely. I've done that. I but do it that doesn't frequently. it only last for like 10 minutes? It's not like yeah, it lasts well, like a whole date. I think no, it's also no, like I mean, a it's, confidence thing, right? It's, yeah, it pumps I mean, you up. You're getting the, yeah, it pumps you it up. Pumps you're getting you up. The, the blood flowing, you know, you're kind of getting excited. You're getting psyched. I think like there's there's like a little ritual that like I, I do before my dates where I sort of just like kind of pet myself up before I go out and do stuff or like if I'm trying on different outfits or I'm looking at myself and I'm trying to like stay focused of what I want to do. What do you do, Ty, with your first dates before your first dates? I feel like Ty just gets up and goes. Yeah, I just put on whatever is comfortable and I head out. Really? Yeah. Different, it, different strokes, different folks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, you know, are you never okay. nervous for first dates? Not really. Oh. I don't feel nervous. Yeah, okay, okay, <laughs> buddy. Yeah, Ty's never felt anxiety in his entire no, I'm life. I'm not saying like I've never felt it, but I'm at a point oh, I don't, where I don't feel nervous. Like, no, I just, I just don't. It's just whatever don't now. Yeah. I mean, I think it's just because like... Um, like, for me, I used to be really nervous, but then I stopped back then. Like, when I was just, like, going on dates, I just never really... You, It is what it is, I feel like, when you go. Mm -hmm. No, it really is. Yeah. Like, as long as you can talk to them and vibe, like, I don't think there's anything much to worry about. If you can keep a conversation going, then what's there really to be nervous about? Exactly. Yeah. No. I think that's uh, that's kind of the crux of the issue, right? Is, like, do people... Are people comfortable being perceived? You know, whenever you go out on a date with someone, because uh -huh. it's like the first time you, you want to make a good first impression. True. So at the end of the day, it's like you can keep a conversation going, but it's like, is the quality of the conversation really very good? Is what you're talking about really very valuable? Are they engaged? Are they interested? Are you making them laugh? I think there's a lot of different factors that go into it that can kind of make you nervous before a date. But mm. um, as I've aged and as I've gone on several different dates, I've found that, yeah, no, I'm much, much 
I'm less and less nervous each time before. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, it's you not are. like every time I'm like sweating and I'm like, oh my God, I have to change my shirt before I go because I'm going to be all wet. Like, <laughs> that's only after the push ups. Wait, what were you saying, Ty? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was just saying because you learn. Like, you learn. The, the more you do it, the yeah. more you learn. The more you do, the more you learn. Agreed. Okay. Uh, what, what else? <laughs> what do you got, Dakota? What do I got? I got a whole ass list of he things. He did his homework. I did my homework. But yeah. So. On the topic of dating, girls, guys really like it when girls approach us first. So, like, if you come up to us and tell us that we're attractive, tell us that we're inter- that they're interested in us, and then you know, give us your number or initiate that point of contact, you're like, that's it. Your sign sealed, delivered. He'll probably want to marry you in that moment. Like, it's a whole thing. Like, it's a <laughs> it's a literal whole thing. Like, I I've the the mo- some of the more I guess like successful relationships that I've had have been when the girl came up to me really? and was just like, I like you and I think you're attractive and I would like to get to know you. And then I'm like, yes, of course, you my by all means. And it kind of just like you take a step back because you're like, dude, what? What about you, Ty? Do you agree with that? Oh, yeah, I, I agree. I think the the level of confidence a girl has to have because in especially in today's society, right? I feel like girls are put down a lot with their beauty standards. And so their confidence sometimes is very low. Yeah. And if they have the opportunity to approach you and they do, it just shows that they're confident. They're confident. They can, they can talk to a guy without feeling fear of rejection. Oh, exactly. Cause it's hard for guys too. Oh, it's so hard for guys. I mean, that's another thing that guys, do a lot as well is where it's like you'll see a girl that you think is attractive and then you'll kind of glance over at her and then the eye dance and then you do like the eye dance and you look away and then you look again and you see if she notices you and if she does notice you and she looks back and then you guys hold kind of hold the gaze for a little bit then Mm -hmm. you're like okay and then you look again and you see if she looks back up and if she doesn't look back up then you go okay (laughs) and then you have to like and then you try one more time and you go and you look you're just like just like last ditch effort let me see if she's gonna notice do I get the green then, light? Do I get the green light? And then like maybe she'll glance up at you and she'll look away and then you're just like, okay, never mind. And then you just don't go up to her anyway because you're just oh like, she's God, gonna that's reject a lot, me. That's a lot of work. It's a lot. That's a lot of work. That's when I was in college, I would I would uh to get over my fear of approaching women, I would just write notes and I would say, Hey, I think you're really cute. I'd really like to take you out on a date. That's Here's my cute. phone number if you want to give me like if you want to text. And I would just like walk up to a girl and I'd be like, Hey, you dropped this. And I would like hand them the note. Mm. And uh nine like literally nine times out of ten they would either text me back and say like i have a boyfriend or i'm not interested or <laughs> like never mind like no thanks but that's cute yeah. though that you did do that that's well you very gotta ballsy. you gotta do something yeah, yeah. you know you gotta put yourself out there yeah, I mean, somehow. if you get rejected that's yeah. the name of the game baby you're swiping left in real life oh i'm getting swiped left on yeah <laughs> 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 they're not super liking me you know no yeah. one's sending me a rose <laughs> I love super likes. There's no, okay. none, that's not happening for you. Now. Do you have another one? Oh yeah, I have another one. Go down, go down the list. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, we're obsessed over com- uh, over compliments. So like, we go, if a girl compliments us, we're gonna think about that for like the entirety of the day, maybe for the rest of the week. We're never gonna forget about it. Oh, I know why. Someone told me. Yeah. So the reason is because uh, guys don't get complimented very often, right. and so girls always do. So we forget. <clears throat> But when a guy gets complimented, that's like, th- it stays with him forever. Forever. Yeah. What's the best compliment you ever got, Ty? Me? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I guess recently I had a compliment uh, at a party. Uh, this guy came up to me, actually. Oh, what? No. See? <laughs> he came up to me and he complimented me. No, what the Ty, we're talking about say? girls giving you compliments. Me and I was like, oh, that's really nice. What do you say? Uh, God. he just said, you're a really good looking dude. No way. That's what he said to me. Oh. Yeah. Wow. And what about girls? Like, girl? really like right? Do you best ever get any compliments movie? from girls? No, girls don't compliment me. No. Lies, Girls never compliment really? me. Really? Yeah. Like, just like randoms? I don't think so. What? I feel, really? Okay, here, I compliment you, Ty. You have good eyes. Oh, thank you. Nice eyes. I'll remember that yeah. for the rest and you're, of my you life. You look half Vietnamese, half no, white. No, no, I'm and full Vietnamese, And you also look like guys. you're adopted. <laughs> I don't know if these are compliments anymore. I don't, I don't know, know if they're compliments, Dakota. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what about you, Dakota? Yeah. Oh, what the compliments, compliments that, that you I gotten? Got? The best one that yeah. you've gotten. What is the best compliment that I've gotten? I don't know. I mean, I... I've definitely had people compliment me before. People have told me I have nice eyes, have a nice smile. Okay. I'm a good dancer. Um, Yo, you dance? Oh, sometimes. 
I can shake it, you know, with the best of them. <laughs> okay, um, cool. But I'm trying to think the best compliment that I've ever received. Oh, that's such a hard one. I don't know why nothing is coming to mind. But I think maybe, well, I guess, yeah, when I when I dated uh, this girl after she, she gave me this compliment, it was when she approached me mm-hmm. to tell me that she saw me from across the room and out of everyone else in the room, I was the one that stood out the oh, most. Oh, that's sweet. That's very and sweet. And then she came up and she was just like, you were the most attractive man I've ever seen in my entire life. And I was like, wow. You're kidding. <laughs> that's so nice. Stop. Don't do this that's to me. So nice. And then I dated her for 10 months. And I was like, yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that was fun. All right. What else you got? Oh, shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, whenever... We go to the bathroom. Um, if ever you have like you know a really busy time in the bathroom and you kind of leave skid marks on the inside of your toilet, I hate that shit. Yeah, guys, we like to pee on those to get them what off the, the fuck? side. Yeah, we'll aim and try to like wash it off. That yeah. is so gross, bro. That no, is it's so not. Gross. It's what are you cleaning? Mean? We're yeah. doing the best we We're can. Cleaning. We're cleaning. Yeah. Girls always ask us to clean. They always ask us to go the extra mile and pick things up and clean a little bit more. It's like we are doing our job and we're doing it efficiently. Okay, no wasted water. How you do that too? I do. That's so gross. There's like something on the side. I'm just aiming at it. Shut up. There's nothing gross about it. And no, I mean, and then it's like a two part thing because then it's also quieter. You know, we pee on the side of the bowl to keep it quiet. Either it doesn't. Yeah, Yeah, because you pee right into the water, it splashes out. Yeah. Oh. If you pee on the side, it goes down. But if you have a higher pressure piss, wouldn't it just splash whatever you're hitting? I mean, a little bit. Fluid dynamics. But but since the bowl is curved, it kind of like splashes that way. Yo, I had no idea you guys be doing. I wish I could do that. That's what we're doing. We're constantly cleaning. (laughs) Wait, do you guys ever like try to play target practice with your piss? All the time. (laughs) All the time. Sometimes I'll just pee on things just because. I think that's why they have those little things. Have you ever been to a a male public bathroom? In the (laughs) urinals, they have those like little pucks. What pucks? They have like little pucks in the urinals. I, I'm pretty sure they put that there just so we aim at it. No, the pucks. That's the urine. That's the urinal cake. Yeah, the, the urinal, urinal cake, cake. Is, is to keep the smell down the because smell, men's urine smells but terrible. But we're always aiming at it. Well, yeah, that's why. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, we're always I mean, aiming. That's at why it. you pee. On, you pee on it, so it's it cake. It makes that smell, that weird smell. But there's also if you're ever in a shared bathroom, because no way a woman is going to be in a men's public restroom. That doesn't make any sense. But if you're ever in like it a happens. shared bath, well, yeah, maybe accidentally. <laughs> I don't know. When I was little kid my mom would bring me into the women's restroom to have me sit on the couch while she would go to the bathroom because yeah, women's yeah, re- yeah. women's restrooms have couches yeah. in case you didn't Just know, you women's, know restroom. women's restroom is not as clean as like guys think really what do you but mean? you guys dude, have couches dude it's gross in a woman's bathroom okay there's people farting pooping periods like blood in the toilet well, there's no farting, flushing pooping and- <laughs> Farting, like, pooping, shitting, and coming, you know. Just yeah, but it's, and coming, yeah. It's the blood, okay? It's the blood that is disgusting that it doesn't get flushed. It's clogged, okay? It stinks what? really. It smells in there, right? It doesn't smell like flowers that people think. It's not well, super men's, clean. Well, men's restrooms smell like urinal cakes, so I guess it's like worst, I never know what worst of both about. worlds. But there's also a little spot in men's urinals. There's like a little, like place right at the very bottom of the bowl where they actually have this little like symbol most most journals at least and you that's if you pee on that it disperses the stream so that it doesn't splash out of the out of the bowl it's Did it's very scientific it's very scientific mm-hmm. oh my god so much with the urine yeah men we you know we're really good at <laughs> not a lot of men thing. are though no no there are a lot because of guys you'll who just go into the men's bathroom everywhere and there's just piss on the floor that's disgusting yeah Okay, what else do you got? It's a lot of fun. This is very interesting. Yeah, you're learning a lot today, huh? I literally had no idea. Um, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I mean, I guess men pee outside sometimes, you know, and you ever just like, if I you're ever like that. dangling off the edge of something, you just want to pee off it. You know, it's like, whatever. I can't say um, I've done that. See? I can't say I've done that. You haven't that. lived, man. We got to do more with this. I got to pee off a building? Yes, actually. Yes, as a matter of fact, you should. Just don't piss into oh, the wind because yes. it'll spray all over you. I had an you. ex who, like, there's a bathroom and he decides to pee out the window yeah. or he pees in the sink. And I'm like, why? Well, I don't know why you'd pee in the <laughs> yeah, sink. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Unless it's like the, the toilet's sink. being used. The po- toilet's right next to the sink. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, I don't or know. Or it's like peeing in the shower, you know, like rather than peeing in the toilet before well, you yeah, get in the shower. Okay. In the I shower also pot. think peeing in the shower is gross and pooping in the shower. Why Who no poops one poops in the, in the shower? shower? People poop in the shower. No oh, way. No, no. Someone, do you know PewDiePie? <laughs> he poops in the shower? No, he told a story of when he was younger. He pooped in the shower and he stomped it down the drain. <laughs> and I was like, 
Who the fuck poops in the shower? No, people take out the drain portion and it's just the hole and then they just poop down there. That's disgusting. And I don't think that drain is made to it's process not. poop. It's going to get stuck in there. It's a, it's like a U-shaped drain that's going to get stuck and then you have just shit clogging okay, that's, it. That's not me, okay? Yeah. Someone told oh, me. I mean, oh, somebody Someone told me. Someone told me. I'm never gonna, peeing I in the shower, pee. perfectly fine. Totally fine. It's just going to wash fine. down anyway. It's basically water. It's liquid. It's Nasty. basically water. It's liquid. Nasty. And then getting out of the shower, like the towel that we use... To wipe, to wipe our body off, you know, we're going to use it to wipe our face. Like, we're going to wipe our balls and I our face with too. the same towel. I wipe my asshole and but wipe my do face. You, well, not obviously you like, you like change the side of the towel, right? You're not no, just like, I just go straight in. What? <laughs> I always wash my face first with my towel. Or I dry it. I dry my face first and, and then, then I, I get down the in there. Yeah. Really? I go from up to down. Okay, you go then... from down to up? Bro? <laughs> she goes, boom. She's just like, hold on, let me get up there and just like. Wait, and then she goes like this. Look, you guys are doing the same, you're doing the same thing though because tomorrow you're going to use the same no, towel. No, I have multiple towels. You guys change your towels I every only single have one. I change my I have towels one towel. every day. I have a face towel oh, next shit. to my sink when I wash my face. Yeah, I change my towel every day. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm starting. You that change thing. your towel every single day, man. How much laundry You're are you so doing, clean, bro? Ty. Once a week. What? <laughs> That's crazy. Wait, how many towels do you guys have? I have like I have I like know. nine. I have like four. Yeah, I was gonna say I have like four towels. Maybe. I have like nine towels. Yeah, <laughs> extra, bro. You got a lot of towels. <laughs> what the fuck? Jeez. <laughs> Ty's uh, towels. Um. <laughs> so. Another one that I was thinking of was that uh, we always try to do everything in one trip. So whenever you... Oh, I'm like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like that's like a pretty common thing, right? Like nobody wants to... Like mom didn't no raise no No one wants bitch. to go back and no forth. No one wants to have to right. go back and forth. It's a waste if, of time. If, yeah. Especially like... But I think it's hilarious is when you just kind of like strap everything oh, up all, all the way up yeah. to your arms and you kind of just like carry yeah. that shit in. Yeah. That's like name of the game. I feel that's like easy. that's guys and girls. Okay, well, my cool. turn. My I love turn. That. Unisex. I got one. Okay. I got lots. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you guys are about to be mind blown with my with girl you think education. We'll know these? I think I'm gonna know all of them. I don't know. Really? I, I have a lot. I okay. lived with women. I grew up with an older sister. Like I have a feeling that I'm gonna have some insight into some of this. All right, we'll see. Things girls do that guys don't know. So half the time when a girl is going like this, like readjusting her bra, we're just trying to scratch our nipple. Like that's it. Because nipples get itchy. So when we go like this, that's just huh. scratching our nipple. I thought you were Starting scratching strong. Here. I, no, no, I didn't like know that. that. Yeah, I didn't know. That. I thought really? they were scratching here of anything. <laughs> Yo, because we're not gonna go in, or we're gonna scratch our nipples, or so we're just gonna take the bra oh, and we readjust, that makes just sense. scratch the nipples. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay, she's really. That, that actually. See? That was actually a surprise. <laughs> I didn't know that. All right. I was like, oh, they're always just kind of readjusting because bras are uncomfortable. It's like, nah, dude, my nipples are itchy. Mm, nipples are itchy. Uh, sometimes, like when we stand out, there's always something that gushes out of our vagina, and like. Sometimes we think it's period. We actually get discharged and it's just like our way of our vagina like cleaning itself. And so we'll just stand up and there's just like a gush of like liquid that comes Anytime out. Anytime you stand up. Once in a while, yeah. It just comes out of you. Yeah. And sometimes we have to check. It's so like, your underwear is, is just, ma- just wet. Oh, all the time. Just all the time. Yeah. <laughs> we, we sit in like <laughs> dry crusties. <laughs> Yo, that's why they sniff crusties. That's why guys want to sniff underwear. Oh, because I we see always now. have like juices that yeah, come out. Yeah, because I always wonder. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, but like what? It yeah. just comes out just randomly just, like, like as you're just around, doing like, stuff? Oh, something came out. I'm like, is that my period? And I'll check and it's just Wow, like, girls are like, way clear. more graceful than I ever thought. That's yeah, beautiful. you guys play it off well. You guys do a really good job. I'm really proud I mean, of you. Like, just if all my the women out there. Was wet, I'd be like waddling or something. No, yeah, guys are dramatic. You know, it. like you have like a wet fart and you're kind of just like, oh, yeah. shit. Oh, know? speaking of farts. So like if we're sitting down, right, <laughs> and a fart comes out, if it's not able to escape out of the fabric, it'll actually go upwards and it'll start to vibrate our pussy. It'll vibrate between your labia? Yeah. The air, yeah, the air goes through and vibrates like. Can a fart get trapped in a woman's vagina? Like, is that a sure thing? Like, if you fart and it I'm just goes sure right, it can. Just, just gets sucked in, so. no, and then it turns so. into like a queef or some shit. It's just no, like it, it will. That's so nasty. That's science. <laughs> That's, science. So. That's science. That's science, baby. That's science. <laughs> okay, okay. Flow and um, tell science episode. Where's so, Bill Nye? Um, usually girls get something. We also get blue balls. You know, guys get blue balls, but we also have a girl version of blue balls. No, you don't. No yes. Way, really? It's like pressure built up in our vagine. And so it, it feels like it hurts, almost hurts so bad. It's like too much pressure that it hurts. And we just need something to go in there and just jab the shit out of it. What? Yeah. Or make it like 
come out. It feels like fluid overload. What? Yeah. Interesting. I mean, yeah. Like, that's kind of similar to, like, what guys go through. Like, when we get blue balls really fucking bad, like, it's just, like, that buildup. But, like, yeah. what? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. It's, like, yeah. Every time it's just, like, feels like something's in there. And I, I just, really? It hurts. And I just need something going there. And, like, because I remember before if a guy finishes too early or something like that, I would be, like, I have that fluid overload and it's, like, painful. Mm -hmm. So I'll ask if they can, like, finish just because I need to release that, like, feeling. Oh, my God. Yeah. Interesting. I really thought I, I knew female anatomy. <laughs> you know, this whole time <laughs> I was God. just, like, I, I'm, I'm doing my homework. I'm researching. I'm spending time, you know, watching the videos. <laughs> Shout out also to Akira. Videos. I'm doing my <laughs> thing. <laughs> and it's, like, no. <laughs> hey, really? Yeah, yeah. Women get blue balls. Yeah. All right. I'm um, so sorry. That sucks. I know. I feel your pain. Um, and Hashtag then it says, girl power. I mean. Oh, period shits. Let me tell you guys about our period <laughs> shits. Okay. <laughs> oh, our, like, period shits. We get our like monthly PB and J period shits. PB and J. Sorry. <laughs> That's quite the imagery. No, seriously, it's the worst. Okay. Every time I'm <laughs> period and I gotta take a shit, it's straight up PB and J on the toilet. So it's so much toilet Yikes. paper that we go through. Like guys complain like, oh, you just use so much toilet paper. Well, sometimes we have to. We gotta clean the booty hole. We gotta clean the pee hole. We gotta clean the vaginal hole. There's just so much going you on. You got a lot of holes. Dude, yes. We have to clean every single one. Some holy shit. <laughs> it turns in, it looks like PB and J. It turns in like PB and J. I used to say it looked like Neapolitan ice cream because it'd be oh, like, oh, no. <laughs> Please like don't ruin the Neapolitan <laughs> ice cream for me. <laughs> You got <laughs> strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate going on. That's fucked. Yep, the Ew, vanilla dude. is the toilet paper, and then you got the strawberry and the chocolate. <laughs> it's like you throw some discharge in I there, love and you got the trifecta. Ice cream. <laughs> I love Neapolitan ice cream. That's hilarious. I literally had a Neapolitan shake right before I came here. That's fucked. Oh, well, All never right. mind. Next thing is that. I don't know if you know this, but girls shave our toes. Why? We have hair on our toes. Shaving like, it. You got hairy toes? On top? Yeah. Do I have hair on my toes right now? So do I. Yeah, we we shave it. Yeah. Really? I can yeah. see I can see you guys doing that. Yeah. Though. I've never seen hairy toes on a girl. And then it says... Yeah, because they shaved it. <laughs> before a girl goes on a date with a guy... Does she do push-ups? No. <laughs> we'll actually share the location... And uh, to our friends, uh, and then we'll give our friends like the full name, photo, just prepared and ready, so that if we get anything happens on a date, that makes sense. We got that, our friends back. I mean, yeah, that I've definitely, ha I've definitely heard that. I, I, I've gone on dates with girls before where they were just like, I actually like shared all my information with my friends uh -huh. before this date, uh -huh. and they're, I'm just like, oh really? And they're just like, yeah, you can never be too careful. And I'm just like, wow, that's yeah. tough. It's okay. Being a guy, you're just like, I. Don't, like you even if you're just that. the most unassuming no we just mm. wing it yeah if they kill us they kill us hopefully die, they find I my body <laughs> if i die so if i die it was my time no, thank you all of us are always scared we're always looking for hints of anything that can seem just off and then we'll just be like i always hit up my friends i'll be like guys okay i'm sharing a location this is where i'm gonna be if i'm not back in like two hours you know what to do what a way to live <laughs> What a way to live. No, I mean, I, I, whenever I've had long dates with girls, they always do say like, oh, I'm going to text my roommate just to let them know I'm OK. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, were you, they, did you tell them just in case, like at a certain period of time that you would need to follow up with them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're like, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm like, OK. Yeah. Like, you guys exist in a completely different reality. We do. Yeah. That's like the first time I heard that when the girls go to the car, they already have their keys ready. Yeah, ready so between that, their like the knuckles and stuff, yeah. just in case. And ready to like just unlock the door real quick and get in and leave. So oh, we're like trying ambushed. to like run. Like sometimes yeah, like trying to run. Ty would drop me off. I'm like trying to book it. And I like, <laughs> sometimes like I'm like, Ty, please watch me go into the car. Okay, yeah. don't close the door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I just kind of like instinctually will like wait for them to drive away right. to be like, okay, like they got out safe, you know? Yeah. But it's not so much that like, I'm worried that someone else is going to come up and like try to kill them. It's more of just like, oh, I just want to make sure they're good. And that like, nothing goes wrong oh, with no, the car. I'm like scared. I'm always fearing for my life every day. Yeah. I mean, it makes <laughs> sense whenever, life. whenever I would have like girlfriends and they would be like leaving work, like a little bit later than they normally do. They would just call me. Oh yeah. And they'd be on the phone with me like yes. the whole time, like walking to the car. Okay. So if you ask for nudes from a girl for the first time and you get one immediately, the nudes we send you have probably been taken for someone else. 100%. Uh, true. 100%. Mm -hmm. Always. Yes. Never Too in fast? my life. 
It's not. It's not. No, for you. If, if they already have those nudes like on deck, yeah. ready to fire right away, yeah. I know for a fact that those are secondhand nudes. It's like I know you're at work right now. Yeah, <laughs> like, and I'm just like, no there way. is no fucking way that you just like went and quick like took a quick one real quick. like no. Yeah. It but it's like it feels but it is it does kind of feel special. It's kind of like a rite of passage when you're dating someone. And then they they start sending you their individualized nudes, you know. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Where and you're it, like, because those will be fast. Yeah, they're quick. They're comfortable with you. Yeah. Because like when a guy asks for a nude, to be honest, it does take a while. We're like, usually we're looking crusty at home, so we're not gonna want to be like, oh, okay, take a photo. We want to like look cute, especially if it's like the first guy we're like date, like it's early in the mm-hmm. relationship or something okay. like that. We want to put makeup on, comb our hair, and look sexy. You know. I've never asked for a nude. Oh, really? Never. Never asked. I only ever just, like, receive. Ty, have you? I don't nope. chase. I attract. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. He's so wholesome, Ty, huh? Yeah. You guys are both so wholesome. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like asking for nudes is a bit overrated. Yeah, I mean, well, it's like if, if someone likes you, then they're going to send they'll you do, Yeah, nudes. they're just going to send exactly. those. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I've never had to be like, oh, can you send me something? Have you ever asked anyone to show you, like, feet? What? <laughs> Wait, Show me your hairy mean, toes. Like, take photos of your feet? You of guys their don't have, feet? like, feet fetishes? I do not. No way. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't? No, I have a foot fetish? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why do you sound so surprised about <laughs> that? <laughs> do I'm I give off right. foot fetish? <laughs> a little no, bit, no, a little no, bit. No. What? No, I feel like no, you'd be no, down no, to no, get no. your dick jacked off with feet. Not at all, dude. Oh, really? That sounds horrendous. <laughs> what are they really good at? Grip? And this, I mean, if they're really good at it, then I'm not going to say no. <laughs> but if, <laughs> but if it's like, I'm not going to go out of my way to be like, can you, can you touch my, can, can you touch my dick with your feet, please? Yeah. Can you take like, off I'm your not, socks? Can you take your socks off? No. Like I, when I have sex, like I'll even keep my socks on sometimes. Wait, so you guys have, have you guys sucked on toes? Yes. Have I? Yes, actually. Yeah. Oh I had to think God. about it for a you second. Just to try it out. Just to try I it out. I had to think about it. Is it after they showered? Of course. Okay, okay, of course. Okay. Don't be gross, guys. It's not like we're out all <laughs> day. Dakota has Wait. it. <laughs> it was, uh, we had gotten back from like the pool Hiking? or something like oh. that. Oh, so okay, okay. It wasn't like terrible. Hiking? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, we just got back from like a really long hike. We just went to the gym. She walked around <laughs> with her bare feet all outside. That's gross, 80% though. of her feet were covered <laughs> in fecal matter. And you sucked it. And I sucked it. <laughs> And uh, then, you, well, you don't need ass. Get out of here. <laughs> um, okay, here's the last one. You're totally allowed to break down and cry in front of us when you need to. If we love you, we're not going to see you as less of a man for doing so, but we might be a little awkward and not know what to do aside from hug you. Mm. That makes sense. That's pretty standard. Although I have definitely cried in front of women and they've like... No, there are definitely girls out there. Yeah, that, that are just like, kind of like you, look down on you. Yeah. You know, they're just like, are you no a man? Way. Yeah, no, there Absolutely. are. Absolutely. Wait, what would they say? They would just kind of, well, they would, it would change the demeanor with which they would treat you. Like, yeah. they wouldn't treat you with as it's much like respect. It's like they lose respect. Yeah. Because they, you cried. Yeah. Well, so, okay, re, can you reenact, like, how they act? I wouldn't know. They're just, like, looks of should disgust. I, should I almost, start crying right? and then Ty can just, like... <laughs> they look at you with disgust? Like, they give you, like, like just, like, why are you crying? And they kind no of just, like... Way. They're, yeah. like, are you good? And, like, oh, they ask you that you kind good? of... Yeah, and they ask you, like, that kind of question. And then you're just, you like... Good? You're, like, yeah, like, I'm fine. Like, I'm good. And then you just, like, have to get up and leave because you can't be in their presence at that point. Oh, mm-hmm. that's sad. Or when they're, like, they don't, like... Yeah, like I've definitely seen women though where they're just like they don't know how to like handle the situation because it's not normal for like a guy to cry in front of a girl. I love it when a guy cries. Well, I mean, it shows that they really are vulnerable in front of it. Yeah, it makes me happy. That's like a trust it's that thing. motherly instinct. Too. That t- that ties into something that I had was that like all men have mommy complexes. Like b- whether or not they admit it, they all kind of have like a desire to where they want to be taken care of, they want to be nurtured, they want to be loved, and they want to be appreciated. Why is it? Because you don't get it from your mom, or it's something? it's probably because we don't get it. Enough. We don't get it at we, yeah. once. Once we leave the house, once our moms aren't like around all the time, nobody's nice to us. Nobody's good to us. Huh. People yeah. are mean to sometimes. us all the time. I mean, sometimes, so occasionally, sometimes. a guy will come up to you and well, say yeah. that you're a really sometimes. good looking guy at a party. Sometimes, you know, <laughs> and then you always remember that comment <laughs> for the rest I of your will. life. I will, and it fuels me. And it, it fuels, fuels him. Me. It gets him out of bed in the morning. <laughs> it does. But like, yeah, we all kind of want if if we have a special lady in our lives, we want to make sure that she thinks that you know she appreciates us. We want to we want to know that. Yeah, you know, buy yeah. your boyfriend's flowers, buy your husband's gifts, show them that you love them. Make like you know. Ty cries. Do, do the little thing. And I'm like, Ty, what happened? You stopped crying in front of me. 
You stopped crying in front of him? Well, because, like, he, he was going through, like, a breakup. Yeah. And, uh, and, yeah. and, like, I was there for him, and it was tough for him. And so, like, seeing him cry just made my heart want to cry. And, mm. like, I would hug him and stuff like that. But, like, you know, I, I do like it when it's vulnerable because it, it just, you, you don't see it often. So I try no, to, like, make don't. sure, like, they feel like it's okay. Like, yeah. it's okay to I cry. I mean, they feel safe enough around you to cry. Yes. It's usually a good thing. Yes. Yeah. But I think, yeah, there, there's a lot of uh, trust that goes into a situation and it, it speaks a lot about a girl's character if a guy does cry in front of her and she's nice to him about it. Because if, yeah. if they're not nice, then they're not that... I'm not about that girl. Not about that. I'm not yeah. about, about that, that girl. Straight. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think there's even a video uh, online of this girl who was on a podcast and she was talking about how her, her boyfriend, who was a UFC fighter, was getting his ass absolutely handed to him in the in the ring. And he was just getting just leveled and just punched in the face so many different times that he was like notably like very much in pain. And he kind of just like put his hands up to like block. Oh, no. and, and he was kind of just like, oh, my God, like, stop and hitting me. That's an ick. And she said that was an ick. No. And she and she was just like, that's like, she I was like, I, I it. yeah. And she broke up with him after that fight because he didn't win the fight. He was like a, a world champion. And she broke up with him afterwards because she was just like he was weak. And it's like, dude, are you fucking for real right now? That's like, so sad. I think that's how women can also be influenced with like the toxic masculinity yeah. phenomena. Yeah. Like, not only guys, girls can also be influenced to well, view guys in that way. Yeah. You know, they, they develop this this falsified perception of what a guy is supposed to be what like. What a manly guy is supposed yeah, to be like. Yeah. And it's, like, it's yeah. kind of like you don't recognize that men have both aspects within them as well. I mean, Girls aren't supposed to always be girly. Guys are supposed to always be manly. Like mm-hmm. at the end of the day, there's a there's a middle ground, and um, there's a spectrum. Everything is on the spectrum, you know, <laughs> including <laughs> us. Everything's on the spectrum, including us. including us, including uh-huh. us, including us. I mean, I see it. Yeah. Oh, I see it in you too. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? No, I see it like we're all on the spectrum. Are you trolling I'm me? I'm not trolling you. I would never. <laughs> Safe space. You can cry. It's okay, bro. You can cry. Bro. I cry all the time. Okay? <laughs> She's She's like, like, I'm telling. crying right now. <laughs> okay, okay guys. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? This is my podcast. Are you good? I'm not okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Imagine a girl does like that. I think he asked for more time. natto. Oh, you'll no, I'm not okay. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode <laughs> of Flow and Tell. Thank you guys so much for watching. And let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or any topics that you guys would like us to cover. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, make sure you like and subscribe, please, and comment. Thank you.